What's up everybody? Back here with another video. Um, I don't know how many more I'm gonna do tonight, but these are not too hard to make, but um, anyways, today what I have to show you guys is the Trick or Treat Studios Glenn Strange House of Frankenstein mask. Let's get it. <laughs> Well, here she is, folks. Um, now it's a little bit shinier than um than I would have expected or you know preferred, but um, it's pretty amazing for what it is. Um, its history is pretty cool. Um, very very nice mask. I really like it. Um, I always wanted the Glenn Strange. And um, you can still get some calendar masks, but they're just not the same paint job as the original ones. Now, um, I'm going to show you some cool stuff here. So this is the um, Illustrated History of Don Post Studios by Mr. Lee Lambert. And this mask is what is on the cover. So that's pretty cool. But not only that gets deeper so this mask originally came out in um i think the 60s sometime in the 60s you could see how they were originally painted um and uh yeah that that is how they're originally painted it was sculpted by pat newman and um like i said the you can get the um the 90s the 90s version calendar mask but it's just not painted the same or at least i haven't seen any painted like that i don't think there is any but um yeah it's it's just an awesome frankenstein mask it's probably my favorite frankenstein mask although i don't really like the movie that much i really like the don post mask so here you can see them together now the thing is is that I'm pretty sure the molds got um, entirely destroyed um, somehow. Um, there's a few casts floating around, of, um, but they're really, really rare, and I don't think I don't think any of them are factory. I think a lot of them are recasts and repaints. But um, I think the original '60s ones were painted like this, and um, the mold got destroyed. I think somebody took it. Um, and it was actually restored. You can see right there, it says Newman and Mabry. Yep, Pat Newman, who sculpted the original one. And then it was refined and I think retooled and bring back to life by Justin Mabry. Now, I'm not sure exactly what he did to it. The only differences I really can see is um, the eye right here. I feel like the old ones... Um, stuck out a little bit more across and this one's more flush with the nose and um i think the neck's a little bit longer but um i think that's about it but um i i really i really enjoy it i mean you know i always wanted uh the don post one and this is pretty much you know as good as it gets i mean finished the same ways um originating from the same sculpture 
um, it's really cool, and, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking for a cool Glenn Strange Frankenstein mask, hit up Trick or Treat Studios, and, uh, get you one today. But, hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, go check me out on Instagram, and, uh, if there's any masks that you would want to see me do a video on, just comment below and tell me what, what mask you guys want to see next.